Here's your word for the day from Calvary in Lake Havasu. Visit us on the web at calvaryaz.com. Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad with your word for the day. Hey, we're in Colossians chapter one. But uh, before we get to the text, do you remember what you were like before Jesus changed your life? I mean, was it a dramatic change? Was it a slow process? Uh, or was it a bunch of halting back and forth, two, three steps forward, two steps back kind of a journey? Uh, I was eight years old when I confessed Jesus as my Lord and Savior, so there wasn't really a drastic life change. I was being taken to church by my parents. I continued to be taken to church by my parents, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, and special occasions in between. But even though I, can't, uh, I didn't experience a dramatic visual life change at eight years old, I can tell you how Jesus has dramatically changed my life. Uh, today's passage is Colossians 1, uh, 21 through 23, and I just want you to hear this, and then let's talk about it. Paul says, And you, who once were alienated and hostile in mind, doing evil deeds, Jesus has now reconciled in his body of flesh by his death in order to present you holy and blameless and above reproach before him, if indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast, not shifting from the hope of the gospel that you heard, which has been proclaimed in all creation under heaven, and of which I, Paul, became a minister. So all of us were anti-God at some point. We were hostile to God. Now, we may not have realized that we were hostile to God, but we didn't believe in Him. We were not in favor of Him. We didn't have opinions about Him. Now, you may not remember those days, but you had them. And then Jesus' death and resurrection transformed us. I don't know if you noticed this or not, but Paul says... In Christ, we are now holy, we are blameless, and we are above reproach, which, by the way, is how God sees us when we receive Christ's forgiveness for our sins. The Holy Spirit makes us new, and now we are considered blameless in the eyes of God. Uh, And then he gets to verse 23, and and he suggests something that causes some people to, to worry a little bit. He says, if indeed you continue in the faith, stable and steadfast. Uh, Now, look, I'm just going to tell you straight up, Paul is not suggesting that you could lose your salvation. There's too many places in his writings where he affirms that once you confess Jesus, the Holy Spirit comes inside you and guarantees your salvation. He's the one who seals you for the day of redemption. But Paul is acknowledging that some people seem to make a commitment to Christ, and then along the way, they quit. They just give up. And how do we understand that? Um, Well, I think the Apostle John explains it best. In 1 John 2, uh, John says, if they went out from us, they were not of us. Because if they had been of us, they would not have gone out from us. You see, there are some people who just kind of um, follow along with the people who are following Jesus. They like the atmosphere. They like the energy. They like the morals. They like the group. But they've never experienced a life-changing relationship with Jesus. And so they're kind of playing religion. And along the way, if you're just being religious, you'll probably quit. But if you've had that life-changing experience with Jesus and you know that he's real and you know he's changed your life, then you're going to persevere. And as Jesus said, the one who perseveres to the end will be saved. And, and look, if you know Jesus is real and he's changed your life, you're not about to quit on the one who gave everything to save you. So uh, let's continue, stable and steadfast, because God has changed our lives, and now he sees us as holy and blameless and above reproach. And so I hope that encourages you to live that way, and I hope this blesses you. Have a great day.